the first law of engineering thermodynamics the thermodynamics temperature scale q1 by q2 equal to temperature t1 t2 applying these equations we can get efficiency 1 minus t2 divided by t1 the cop coefficient of cop of refrigerators in terms of temperature t2 divided by t1 minus t2 t equal lower temperature divided by higher temperature minus lower temperature this is a heat pump uh, t1 divided by t2 minus t1 TH divided by TH minus TL. The example sums the heat engine uh, receive the heat at the rate of 1000 kilojoule per minute and gives an output of 8.2 kilowatts. Determine the thermal efficiency, the rate of heat rejection. This is a solution uh, source heat energy sink. The source Q1 heat supply. 1500 kg per minute work done 8.2 kilowatts uh, q2 heat engines sink the work output 8.2 kilowatts w equal to 8.2 kilowatts 1500 divided by 60 equal to 25 kg per seconds the thermal efficiency work done by heat supply work done 8.2 divided by 25 equal to 32. Point 8 percentage efficiency 32.8 percentage the rate of heat rejection q1 minus uh, w 25 minus 8.2 16.8 kilojoule per seconds hence the ratio the rate of heat rejection 16.8 kilojoule per seconds the second sum the find out the coefficient of performance and the heat transfer uh, in the condenser of the refrigerator in kilojoule per hour uh, which are the refrigeration capacity 12,000 kilojoule per hour. The power input 0.75 kilowatts. Solution capacity K2 V now 12,000 and the power W equal to 0.75 kilowatts. Coefficient of performance heat transfer rate are 12,000 divided by 0 0.75 is into 60 into 60. The COA, COP is uh, 4.44 coefficient of performance. Hence the heat transfer uh, rate in the condenser Q1 according the first law Q2 equal to W. The heat transfer rate uh, 14,700 kilojoule per hour. Next one is a entropy. Entropy is a function of a quantity of heat which show the possibilities of conversion of that heat into work. Increase in entropy is a small when the heat added a high temperature and is greater when the addition is made a lower temperature. Thus, for the maximum entropy, there is minimum availability for conversion into work, and for minimum entropy, there is maximum availability for conversion into work. Let us consider a system undergoes a reversible process from state 1 to state 2 along the path L and then from state 2 to the original state 1 along path M applying the class S theorem to this reversible cyclic process. When the subscript designates a reversible cycle. Hence, when the system passes through the cycle 1L, 2M1, we have now consider another reversible cycle in which system change from the state 1 to state 2 along the path L but returns from state 2 to original state 1 along a different path and for this reversible cyclic process we have integration of 1 to q uh, del q divided by t plus integration 1 to n del q divided by t equal to 0 subtracting we can find this the process delta d by is a function of initial state and is a system and independent of the path process path process hence it represents a property of system the property is known as the entropy change entropy in a reversible process uh, s1 equal to entropy at initial state 1 and s2 entropy is a final state 2 then the change in entropy of system as it undergoes a change from state 1 to to become S2 minus S1 in relation of uh, del d divided by T. Uh, lastly, equilibrium state 1 and 2. 
uh, infinitesimal near to each other. The integral sin may be obtained, uh, sin may be omitted and S2 minus S1 become equal to ds. Entropy irreversibility consider a closed systems undergoing a change from state 1 to state 2 by a reversible process. 1 minus L minus 2 and written from the state to initial state 1 by an irreversible process. 2 minus M minus 1 as shown in figure thermodynamics coordinate process and volume.